Hello, World Civilization 107 class. Welcome to week uh, six. This is the last week before uh, your final. So it's very important. Um, I just want to make a few things clear. Um, at this point, if you have asked for permission to turn in late work and I've given it to you, um, you will need to have that work finished by Sunday, by this upcoming Sunday. Um, because I'm just, we, we're, we are running out of time. And the final paper will look a lot like exam one, and it'll be due in the middle of, of the next week. Um, so really your grade's going to depend on all the work that you've needed to have done up to this point. So please keep that in mind. And so if, if you've had several uh, assignments that have not been graded and it's been over a week, I may have put some comments in the comment section and asked you to fix something so you could get better points. Maybe you didn't notice that. So take a look at that. Um, let's be in communication. Um, if you have any issue or things you need to get fixed uh, because we're just running out of time, okay? so. Uh, I just want to clarify that. I want to remind you once again that you don't turn in any late work without prior approval because what happens if you turn in work without getting a, asking me, I don't look at it and it, the zero remains. So you need to still go through me and talk to me um, in some way if you want uh, to turn in late work. So I just want to remind you of that, okay? Um, and so that's mainly the important parts for you to remember for uh, uh, what's coming up. I just want to add a few things about this class as we come to the end. Um, I'm very frustrated that there there's so much material for me that I sh need to cover with you all on current events and history. You will notice what's missing, a very important one, is uh, what's happening with uh, Russia and the Ukraine and, and NATO. Now, you have, we covered history that gives us somewhat of a, of a background to how these things developed, but I, I did not have it, the time to go over uh, uh, what's going on now. I am doing that somewhat more in my Western Civ class because we're so focused on Western civilization. Um, I would have been able to do that if I would have cut out something here. Now, uh, what I decided is for a world civilization class, I wanted to give you all information that I thought you'd probably have very little exposure to anywhere else. Um, so, you know, you kind of know probably where to go now in terms of finding information about what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. And you should have information about Israel-Palestine conflict, but my thought is probably a lot of you have just don't even know where to start with that. And yet it's a very important conflict on many levels, especially due to the fact that the U.S. is such a massive supporter of Israel uh, um, to the point of them being the number one military aid recipient of the U.S. government. And simultaneously, the treatment that Israel gives to Palestinians is very controversial, mainly on an international level and a little bit more mixed and complex or maybe a lot of indifference from the broader American public on that topic. Um, so, um, but even with, with that conflict, I don't cover so many developments that have occurred uh, uh, in that history. And right now, Israel is having a certain existential crisis within its own political system of Netanyahu and his government um, passing through laws to give more power to him, uh, to the being prime minister and the weakening of the judiciary, uh, some feeling that almost giving kind of dictatorial powers. Um, so what's going on with that? Well, I didn't get to cover all of that. Um, it's important to note that Israel does not have a constitution, and so they have a much more complicated system when it comes to 
uh, uh, what's set up. But having said that, a lot of what's going on also has to deal with laws that have been regarded towards with the Israeli state towards Palestinians and the rights Palestinians are have or not, or Israeli Palestinians that are actually considered full citizens of Israel, but they're not Jewish, and the state is defined as a Jewish state, and where their place in that fits. So. If you have any questions and you're actually more interested in this topic, I can go further into that with you. <clears throat> in any case, um, some of you might have very strong and passionate views and you're not even agreeing with some of the perspectives or ideas that I'm putting in this. Uh, I want to encourage anybody to always contact me if they want to talk about any subject and there, there won't be any repercussions to your grades or anything if you disagree with me or you want to have a debate about something. So just, just know that. Um, uh, so I just want to clarify that. But so, so again, uh, even some of the information I have on the Middle East uh, had to be updated. And I, I have one video that talks about China brokering, tea, making a peace broker with Saudi Arabia and Iran. This was a recent development, and it's almost entirely ignored in the US media of all political stripes, which is very telling. Especially since it's China that actually brokered the peace. So the other thing that I'm also not getting to cover as much, and I only was able to do a little bit, is the ever ongoing fluctuation of the influence or not, or suspicion or skepticism or all the above that, that, that is coming with China as a rising superpower, as a superpower, should I say, uh, in the world. And uh, even the way that there is some conflicts about um, switching from the dollar to Chinese money with, with some states. So there's, there's a lot going on in the world, folks. And, um, you know, I basically want to draw this to your attention. And uh, uh, so again, these videos can only, I can only cover so much and, and, and the updates are not easy to keep up with, but all of this should give you a better background in what to uh, look at. And uh, I think I'll just leave it at that and make sure you contact me again if you have any questions or issues and we'll be in touch.